One of my favorite WordPress plugins is called jQuery Lightbox for native galleries. And what that does is once you activate this plugin, on your site, just add a normal WordPress gallery, nothing fancy, just the standard gallery. Um, what happens is when it shows up on your site, instead of linking off to that picture, you click on it, it shows it in a cool light box. It's really pretty slick and very, very simple. You can teach people how to use it very quickly because they just add a gallery and go to town. However, the new version of Jetpack now has its own cool automated gallery feature here called Carousel. So let's take a look at that real quick. So on this site, I'll go to Plugins. I'm going to deactivate the jQuery one. It'll get kind of weird if they're both going. Go into Jetpack and activate the Carousel. Now let's take a look at that. If we go back out to this page, I'll refresh it here. And now what happens when you click a picture, it loads this cool full screen Carousel. You can click through. Uh, you can optionally have the EXIF data show. I have it turned on right now. We can turn that off. That's another pretty cool way to view it. The only thing I don't like about this so far is that the one little X is up here, and a lot of users may not notice that. It's a little harder to get out of, but it's kind of cool. So the question now is, you know, which one should you use? Both are very easy. Again, it's still just the normal gallery we've inserted in the page, so you don't have to do anything custom on your post. Just upload a bunch of pictures, chuck in a gallery, and it all looks pretty. So um, that's what the new Jetpack carousel looks like. I still tend to lean toward... Uh, the jQuery light box. And here's another little tip how to disable these guys. Um, it took me a little while to figure this out. But if you click learn more, then this little button, watch this little button here, becomes deactivate. So right now it's learn more configure. So if we go to configure, it takes you to the page where you can choose black and show the exit data and stuff. Um, no way to turn it off. It took me a while to figure out how to turn them off. So we go in here and say learn more, and then watch that button turn into deactivate. So we'll click that to deactivate it. Still using Jetpack, we're just deactivating that one module. And then we'll go back into our plugins, um, and reactivate jQuery Lightbox. And if we go back out to the site here, and we're back to that one. So I still kind of like that one, but I'd love to get your thoughts on which one you think is better and why. Thanks.